Hey Vicky, this is Brandon just sending over that free video with a couple of tips and tricks uh, that hopefully you guys can apply and uh, find yourself in a better place on, on Google searches. Um, you're probably wondering why I send out free videos. Uh, what's in it for me? Well, I understand that uh, business owners are a lot of times busy, even hands-on, don't have the time, the know-how, or even the want-to to do this kind of stuff. So I give a couple of free tips uh, that hopefully people can apply um, and then that they find out that you know they just want somebody else to do them. And then hopefully by the end of this video, you can see I kind of know what I'm talking about and uh, and I can be that guy for you. So uh, the few things that I throw out there, uh, first one is going to be website content and keywords. Second thing is going to be citations. And then lastly, we'll talk about backlinks and referring domains. So um, I talk about those three things because Google does have its algorithms and reasons why they you know rank people the way they do. Um, and the first one's website content. What they look for is uh, at least 1,500 uh, words of content on a home page. So um, you fall just a little short of that, not bad, however. Uh, so just add some more content in here. Um, and then the main thing is going to be that content needs to be stuff with keywords uh, pertaining to what it is you guys are trying to accomplish. Um, doesn't always have to be, you know, the most appeasing, um, but it does have to be informational and stuff with keywords like uh, roofing Madison, Madison roofing. Um, if you guys have a special niche that you do or something different that you stand out for, those keywords are going to be you know, want to be stuffed in there. Um, a certain area you're targeting, we can always make different pages to, you know, location pages to, you know, capture those areas. Um, so just more keywords, more content, um, but not looking too bad. Uh, the other thing we look at is citations. So when we look at um, a Google search of like uh, Madison Roofing Contractors or Roofing Contractors, Madison, Wisconsin, uh, you're going to see that these businesses pop up in what we call the map pack. Um, the way you get into this map pack is, you know, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of things combined, but citations is the driving force behind that. And a citation is simply your business name, email, address, phone number uh, listed anywhere on the web, whether it be Yellow Pages, uh, Yelp, uh, anywhere on LinkedIn, social media stuff. So I always tell business owners, shout from the rooftops, any place that you can get your business name. Uh, get it out there because Google sees that as a citation. The more citations you have, the more relevant you are in Google's eyes, and you know the more apt you are to get on the on the map pack. So go out there and uh, get your name and business and address and phone number and as many things as you possibly can. That's going to help you get up into this map pack. And then the last thing I talk about is backlinks and referring domains. And uh, I use a site called Arefs. Uh, it's a tool we use. Anybody can get on this. It does, however, cost about 500 bucks uh, a month to use. But it's showing you your backlinks. Um, and uh, referring domains and simply put a backlink is this anytime you go to a site uh, and there's a link that you can click on and it links back to your site that's a backlink uh, so you want to have as many of those out there as possible I see you got about 3500 okay um, which is outstanding uh, however you're gonna want to make sure that those backlinks ain't spammy in the eyes of Google and what I mean by that is make sure that those backlinks are on relevant web pages and blogs and emails and uh, social media things because um, if they're linked to you know stuff that has nothing to do with you guys Google does pick up on that they lower your power rating they lower your rankings because they see that you're just trying to stuff backlinks um, and they don't hold any power so uh, the other thing here uh, obviously the big one is organic traffic there's about 67 people that visited your site in the past 30 days um, so 67 people visiting your website um, don't know how much of your business is generated via the website or if you guys do home shows or things like that um, but obviously the bigger this number is the more clientele you you know you're possibly going to have so what i did was um, in that google search i did in roofing contractors madison i just grabbed the top guy out of here and uh, i put him into a ref so you can kind of see you know he's got 2,000 less backlinks than you he does have 400 referring domains um, which is quite a bit more than you got uh, keywords he's uh, got a lot of good keywords in there and he's generating, you know, twice as much traffic. So two times the, uh, you know, amount of potential clients he's bringing in. Um, and I think, you know, as well as I do, roofing jobs, high ticket item. You know, if you can generate, you know, two to three jobs out of those extra 60 people every month, you know, that's going to do a lot for your bottom line. So hopefully these tips and tricks were, were useful. Hopefully you guys can uh, implement some of this. Um, if you find yourself without the time, the want to, the knowledge, um, that's why we reach out here. We're here to help. Um, I'm going to send this over via the email and uh, hopefully this gets in front of somebody that uh, finds it relevant and uh, all I ask is uh, that you send an email back saying that this was uh, you know, useful or useless. 
Um, either way, I can take some constructive criticism if need be. Um, but either way, I look forward to hearing back from you. You guys enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks.